All right, so my mission today was to find a tree in Montana that was something other than a pine tree or a uh, evergreen. I didn't realize uh, how many pine trees and evergreen trees there are in this part of the country. Um, I brought all the saddles with me to do this review and um, need to find a tree to get in. So that's my mission today. So I drove uh, switchbacking my way up the mountain uh, I kept driving up for a couple miles and I found an area that has a trailhead and I'm seeing some trees that are uh, regular trees. I don't know uh, what birch these are. Uh, this tree that's right here by me almost looks like a cottonwood. I'm not sure if it is. I do have a creek running behind me here. Uh, I think that's might be the reason why I have uh, different diversity of trees. Um, this is possibly a little more wet right here. Uh, if you've noticed me waving something around in my hand here, I have my bear spray. I am in grizzly bear country as well as black bear country. Um, I just saw a guy walk by here with his dog and he had bear spray in his back pocket. So uh, he was up on his porch when I drove by so he's a local he's carrying bear spray i'm definitely carrying bear spray there are just as many grizzly bears outside of the park as there are in the park uh, in this area um, about 20 miles north of here uh, in 2018 um, an elk hunter was mauled by a grizzly bear uh, he did survive um, i think there was a woman in that same area who was mauled as well uh, and i unfortunately I believe she passed away one thing that the manufacturer recommends is not only you carry bear spray but you know how to use it now, I've yet to uh, I have disarmed it just to practice disarming it but I have not touched the button yet to get a burst of bear spray I'm gonna do that right now because they do recommend you at least practice that before you go into the woods so right now I'm gonna See if I can't find a tree, so let's get going. Well, it's snowing already up here. So I'm hoping to find a tree fairly, fairly close. That's the only areas I'm seeing those uh, birch trees. Everything else in this direction looks like more evergreens. So I may need to just walk down off the trail down over here. Well, I think I found a couple trees that are gonna work. So I'm gonna mark this spot, I'm gonna drop a pin. So I'm gonna head out of here. Tree looks like it's been hit. Good time to get in the truck and head back. The snow is really coming down now. These dark clouds rolled in. Head home and get cozy. It sure is pretty though. We decided to get up at four o'clock this morning and head into Yellowstone to see if we could see some moose over at Pebble Creek.
as you saw, we got to see four of them. So we decided to continue on and hit the northeast entrance and check out Silvergate, Silvergate and Cook City. So we've been through the north gate, the west gate, and now the northeast gate. It's just beautiful. There's some really pretty views over here. Really pretty conifer forest up the side of the mountain.